Alright, 
Welcome to the ESO Minor Hockey Gold Medal Game here on Shaw TV. Check this out. Novice hockey here at the Mark and McPhail Arena here at Winsport. We've seen junior Canadian players here. We've seen Canadian national players here. We've seen sledge hockey players. But tonight, it's all about the novice. Look at these parents. Look at these kids. You've got the Hockey Canada logo right in the middle. You've got O Canada going. It's an excellent, excellent atmosphere. My name is Jordan Magnuson. I'm alongside Riley Pollock, my uh, color analyst for tonight. We've got the Northwest Roar, uh, Warriors Red Squad taking on the Calgary Saints. Riley, how did we get to this point? Well, there was a vote online and... Novice took it by a landslide. They had 2,412 votes compared to just under 400 for the second place league. So everyone wanted to see a little bit of Novice hockey action for the second straight year. Absolutely. I had a chance and the pleasure to do this last year and it was so much fun. It was hilarious. The players are excited. I actually, you and I had a chance to go down to the dressing room. We were looking at the players and they didn't want to talk to us. They were busy, you know, checking their abacuses. They were doing their analytics before the games. They were having their pregame weedies. And, but it, it was the parents that seemed to be the most excited but also nervous at the same time. Absolutely. You uh, saw a little bit more pep in the step of the parents than they usually have for 8.30 games. But they understand that it comes with the territory of being a hockey parent these early games, especially at such a young age. Well, look at this. The uh, Saints right now having to push their own net onto the goal there. Where are the referees? Somebody's going to be fired after this game for sure. We've got in the white jerseys, you've got the Northwest Warriors Red 2 squad, novice. And in the blue jerseys, going right to left, you have got the Calgary Saints novice one. As we talked about, this has been SO Minor Hockey Week. We've had a week long of action here. And it came down to a vote for the gold medal game, as it does every single year. And it was the novice squad that won by a landslide. I believe 2,412 votes went in favor of this game. People really want to see it. Why do you think that is? I think just because of the entertainment factor, especially last season, like you mentioned, you had a chance to do it, and you've told me nothing but great things about this game. I know you've done quite a bit of commentary for hockey, and you say that this is one of your favorite games that you've ever done. This is an absolute highlight. Let's take a look at the starting goalies. Lily Oster, you saw in that white jersey. She's getting warmed up. You saw her doing, you know, practicing her butterfly. Uh, they brought out, you know, the, the rope and stuff to make sure her positioning was good. The goalie coach came up to her before the game and said that she was prepared and ready to go. And then on the other side, for the Saints, you've got Maddox Ross. And if we want to talk about focus and determination, 
this kid has absolutely got it. He's way more flexible than both Riley and I combined. And we're going to be seeing a lot of action from both of these goaltenders here. And I think one thing that you have to point out here too is that they are playing on a Hockey Canada international size surface. And they're utilizing that entire end-to-end -end as well. I'm going to be worn out just watching these players play hockey. Yeah, it's, it's a tough transition going from the ice they usually play onto an international size surface but these are young kids they don't get tired there's no such thing as tired in their vocabulary and i'm sure they'll be just fine maybe get some mcdonald's breakfast after this one absolutely it'll be much deserving for sure as we take a look at the warm-ups and it's well structured actually way more structured than we are here at shaw tv thanks for tuning in you can watch us here on youtube or you can watch us on uh television as well and it's all live you get to check this out because this game is going to be intense and look at these kids with the speed here in the warm-ups they've got some wheels these kids, you know what, they could potentially 100 meter sprint Olympians one day, maybe some speed skaters and all those people train here at the facility here in Windsport because this is the top of the line when it comes uh, to facilities here in Canada. Yeah, it's a, it's a big deal. I'm not sure the kids understand it quite as much as the parents might, but we're at an unreal facility for this game, and I can't wait. And it looks like we're about to get underway as the warm-ups are just ending. They're putting the pucks away. The Warriors have done their chant. They're lining up already at center ice. Well, this is a game where the periods, 12 minutes long, it looks like is what's going to be the factor here. 12 minutes of intense action. Last year, though, I remember seeing a shift where the players played for over nine minutes long on that shift. We might see something similar here. So again, in the white jerseys going left to white is the Northwest Warriors Red Novice 2 squad. And in the right, in those blue jerseys, the Saints Novice 1. And look at this opening face-off right in the middle of the Hockey Canada logos. The D. I like the strategy coming up. Really pinching up at that... Uh, at that face-off circle. You don't see that too often, but they've been strategizing this plan for ages now as we are underway. And this is Van Horen that gets the first possession for the Warriors. Puck is stolen up here and played over into the blue line. I like the strategy to start off. It's a dump and chase. You know, coaches, I talked to them before the game, and dump and chase is something they really have to utilize here. Yeah, they, with especially with this extra ice to work with, the Warriors are going to try and use that speed to their advantage as we see the first whistle of the game. Yeah, a stretch pass there, and I think uh, the sun got in the eyes of one of the players, and unfortunately that pass did not connect. I'm going to blame that one on a Hockey Canada ice there. As we have a face-off inside the Saints uh, a zone right now, and as I said before, a goaltender Maddox Rose in between the pipes, and he looks focused right here. Puck goes over to the blue line. It gets dumped over left-hand side boards. Nice. In the slot. Warriors have it. A wrist shot. Holy, that one has some heat on it. Scared the children in the front row. But the Saints recover nicely. A block shot there. And with speed comes up the right side boards. This is Cornelius. With some moves. Looks like Patrick Kane out there. Dishes it to his left side. And unfortunately, I think the ice is tilted a little bit because that pass was also errant. At the blue line now. This is Ali Nasser with the puck. Nice pinch at the blue line. Mimics her game off of Eric Carlson, I would say. But in transition, big bump. Soltes gets knocked off the puck. Whoever that was has a mean streak in them. Full contact, apparently, with no regard for human life. As the Saints will transition here. 12 minute periods. 10.34 left to go in this one, and it's going to be on the fly line changes. That is something that I didn't see last year. That step is vicious, trying to get from the bench onto the ice as a player blows a tire at the blue line. That thing is dangerous. Puck is in the left-hand corner. In front is Abdullah. A wrist shot. That one had some heat on it, but Rose says, heck no, that puck is not going in. Nice kick coming in from Abdullah. And at the point, and it blows past, and here comes the Saints in transition with speed. Left side boards. In the slot, Sabe, rebound comes in, poking away, scores! Look at that silly! The Saints are on the board first after a great goal. No chance for the goaltender, and it's a 1-0 Saints lead. What a great pass out in front. 
by number 17. That's Sutherland that threw it on net. And the coaches always say, just get pucks to the net. You never know what's going to happen. And we have the first goal by the Saints in this one. Goaltender Lily Oster. Unfortunately, the coaches put rubber on her pads for some reason before the game. Not That's a great strategy. Yeah, not the most bold strategy here. As the puck is back over inside. And it will be Jaden Prairie Chicken getting the goal for the Saints to make it a 1-0 game. After an initial brilliant save by Lily Oster. But the Warriors are in transition. Going end to end left side. This is Riley. Dances away around his target and the puck goes all the way down the ice looks like a game of shuffleboard as we're gonna head all the way down and there is the icing call no touch icing as this is international rules on this one and the puck will go all the way down and in the other end between the pipes we talked about rose and i like his style play is not on right now it's a whistle but he's still practicing it's brilliant the face yeah, off to the right of him. He's going to be tough to beat just by the looks of him today. Looks terrifying. We might need to get a close up. I believe he's got the football black marks underneath his eyes. He's so focused in this one. As the puck is enters in the Warriors zone. And this will be Russell with the red tape on his stick. Matching the Canadian theme here at the Mark and McPhail Arena. This is the gold medal game of the SO Minor Hockey Week. The puck is played at the blue line. And here comes the Warriors with some speed. Right side boards. This is Soltes who gets tripped up. Good defensive play coming in from Owen Murray. Took a page out of Shea Weber's playbook there. Back behind the net now. This is Cornelius who shuffles it alongside the boards at the point. A wrist shot. That one had some pepper on it. He definitely ate his Wheaties in the morning. At the point, in the slot. Soltis is having himself a shift. But the puck goes off his stick and over in the center ice. Good hockey here as we've played four minutes in this opening frame. A 1-0 Saints lead. Thanks to Jaden Prairie Chicken's opening goal. The Saints looking to get that insurance marker, but good defensive play coming in from the Warriors. But it's stolen up here. Left side. Prairie Chicken again tries to center in the slot. But it's the team in white and the Warriors getting that puck out of their zone. Petrata loses possession of that puck. I think the wind knocked that puck off his stick as it shuffles into Saints territory, good block shot there. And here comes the Warriors on the backhand. Nice 360 move. The Saints D is, uh, it's a stone wall so far in this game. They're playing very good defense. Absolutely. And here comes a one-on-one. -on -one. Saints with speed. I can feel the wind up here. End to end and just to the side. Good defensive play coming up from Locus U. And in transition are the Warriors. It's a two on two, left side boards in the red helmet there. And oh, blows a tire. Someone threw a banana peel on the ice. And the Saints are end to end. Look at this action. Two on O. Oh. Here comes a shot. Save made rebound. What a save coming in from Oster. Wow. Looks like Carrie Price in between the pipes there. We saw her before the game working on that butterfly. She's already better than I ever was a goaltender, and I played for 12 years. Absolutely. Big save from Oster, keeping this a 1-0 lead for the Saints. As the puck gets fluttered into the blue line, inside the Saints end, puck is stolen up, and way to keep that puck in, blows a tire at that blue line. That's, that blue line has tripped up a couple players here. Wu is battling down the side of the boards, and he knocks the puck forward. But you got your stay-at-home defenseman from the Warriors playing it forward. Puck is chipped forward into the Saints corner boards. And regrouping here is Braden Anthony, who's got the puck with that blue stick tape. 
Whoa, what a deke. What a pass. It's a 2 on 0 yet again. End to end action and an offside will be called here. I don't know about that one. As these kids, as I said, they brought out their calculators and abacuses. They really focused in and tried to analyze it and unfortunately came over the blue line a bit too quickly there. Yeah, just a little bit too anxious for the 2 on 0. But a good effort nonetheless as this Saints team has some speed to kill. Johnstone won that draw, but it's the Warriors who have possession. As we have a collision into the boards, total chaos here at the Windsport Arena. Johnstone will backhand that puck into the neutral zone. And blowing by here, Cornelius with speed comes into the slot, getting watched. A wrist shot save made by Oster. We've seen that before. As Cornelius got robbed there. As Eric will have to regroup. He's the only man back. But he's got some composure here. If he were on NHL 17, that'd be a 99 composure rating. Absolutely. So the puck is in the neutral zone. These kids are... Have lots of fire here early on in this game. 1-0 a Saints lead as they were voted in for the gold medal game. Puck is played. Left side boards with a chance in the slot. Brilliant pass. What a save. What a save coming in from Maddox Rose. Does some sort of sprawling eagle play. It's a new generation of goaltending. You had your butterfly and now you've got your spread eagle technique yeah that's just great composure there channeling his inner hassock to make that save and i think this warriors team needs to start cycling down low maybe use the dump and chase to get past these great defenders of the saints here's nasser who will rip that puck right side boards and here's abdallah who loses possession good saucer pass and this puck is going to be carried in by the Groot, who dumps this one down low. Apparently, the coaches have our video feed because there was the dump and chase utilized right there. Puck over at the points. Oh, jeez. A rabid fan threw a banana peel out on the ice and fortunately tripped up at that blue line yet again. Puck on the left side. A wrist shot. Big glove save. And he plays the puck down low, but Rose again says, look what I found. And he gloves that puck down for a whistle. If there's any Hitman scouts in the building, I think you may have found your new goaltender. Look at that positioning right now. And that stats. So the puck is won by the Saints. A backhander in the slot. Wrist shot goes off a stick. And the puck will be played. Way to bat that one. Back in there was Lamb. But it's the Saints who will transition. The green stick tape coming in as the puck gets knocked off the side boards. Blue looks like he's forechecking here, but the Saints will recover and launch this one back inside. But tripped up in the neutral zone. Eric will have this one. Eric spins around. Look at him tilt his head down. He's calculating aerodynamics there. The puck is launched into the neutral zone. And it eludes everybody. We had a ghost puck. But it's inside the Warriors' territory with 2.40 left to go in this period. Behind the net now. This is Van Huren. Off the boards. And there's a souvenir for a coach. Ops to play that puck down low. And in transition, here comes the Warriors. This is Riley. A wrist shot from the point and looking five hole. Rose was showing five hole the entire way, but that butterfly of his covers it right up with 222 left to go in this period. The face off will be to the right of Rose, and the Warriors seem to have had the momentum ever since that goal coming in for Prairie Chicken in the earlier parts of this period. Yeah, getting a few shots on goal here, but have yet to solve Rose, who has been an absolute monster in net so far. Well, there's another save. A rebound comes in. And that puck is played behind the net. Saltes looks to backhand it. Nasser, though, gets in the way of that puck. 
as the puck ricochets off the right side boards. Bayana will pivot behind the net. Starts things up and throws it to the left side boards. The Saints, though, predict that one nicely as the puck goes to the point with some hustle. Way to keep that one in by Owen Murray. And he crashes into the boards. He doesn't care about safety. He just cares about getting that puck in. Yeah, his teammates are going to appreciate that one. See if it builds some momentum. As that puck gets knocked over to the left, Liana again, the stay-at-home defenseman, not letting the puck anywhere near his goaltender. Oh, nice moves coming in. As a lime green stick tape, where do you find these different colors? I hope that's the evolution of hockey. We see this more often as we have a one-on-one. -on -one. Abdullah looks to dance around his target. And I think a sniper from the fan took him out. That's unfortunate. Puck in the neutral zone. We have less than a minute now to play in this first period. A very entertaining gold medal game we have so far. 1-0 Saints lead. They're looking to build on it right here. As the puck is launched inside the zone. Good strip of the puck. The Saints battling hard, but it's going to be the Warriors who try to get possession. Joseph Wilson has been on the ice for a long time. He's really earning that paycheck of his. Oh. Line change for the Saints here, but the Warriors just can't take advantage of that one. As we have chaos in that right side boards. 21 seconds left to go in this period. The puck is stripped up. Breakaway shot. Safe made. Lily Oster comes up massive yet again to keep this a 1-0 game. And Riley, this might be a goaltending battle we see here. This might be a game for the ages for these two goaltenders. And who knows if they'll even be playing for these novice teams by the end. They might be getting the call up. Well, Oster just made a deflection save, and that is impressive by the scorekeeper. 0.1 seconds left to go in this period. Give that scorekeeper a race. Because that timing is brilliant. So we're going to have a face-off. Look for Nasser to try to do a clapper from the point. He's going to take a little stumble, though, first, though. As we have concluded the first period of this SO Minor Hockey League gold medal game on Shaw TV. What an excellent first period. It was a 1-0 score coming in from Jaden Prairie Chicken for the Saints earlier on that period. But then it turned into a goaltender's battle. And I'm imagining that it's going to be a low-scoring affair because these two goalies pretty much are just brick walls in the net. It's been an unreal game for these two goaltenders. And... They have something to prove out here, and they have done it in this first period. They have earned their post-game post breakfast already, and we are only through the first period. Well, I would not be surprised if both teams get their oranges or popsicles, whoever moms brought that in there, as we have a very good crowd here to watch this game. People loving the novice hockey action here at the Mark and McPhail Arena. And we are going to be taking a look at a couple highlights here in that period as we take a look and it was the Warriors with that wrist shot but Rose was the story of that first period as he was pretty much a brick wall in that net. I don't know the difference between the two as the Saints doing a nice strategy here having six players on the ice. So in the second period it looks like we're going to have a 15 minute second period. I like the strategy here, 12 minutes in the first to give him a little bit of a break, 15 in the second, who knows what the timekeeper is going to do, it's his discretion apparently. My vote's 18. 18 in the next one, I'm going to say an hour. I'm really, fine with that, I could watch this all day. Really going to make these kids earn their paychecks on this one, as the puck is back inside the Saints zone, so it's the Saints now going left to right in those blue jerseys, that's going to be the Warriors going right to left. As the puck is inside, scores! A wrist shot from the right side boards. And it looks like it's Sullivan Riley getting the Warriors on the board. It's a 1-1 game. I didn't even see that shot. He shot it so hard. There's nothing Rose could do on that one. And he stays on the ice there, just contemplating what went wrong. But he's played so well today, I'm sure it won't affect him. Well, that looked like an Alexander Ovechkin snipe right there. Five hole, and it's a 1-1 game. And this is what you want to see 
in a gold medal game. And it looks like they're going to give the goal to Sullivan Raleigh. So we were correct on that one. What a goal. It's 1-1 here. As the puck is backhanded, no look pass into the slot. A wrist shot, save made. Rose, look at that composure. Gives up a goal, but immediately falls up with the save. In transition. John Stone. Bats that puck forward. Spin move coming in. Johnstone has possession. And what do we have here? Did someone cross the line? I think we're going to get a hooking penalty here on the Warriors. What is the call on this one? Someone is going to be going out to the it's penalty box. five for the Warriors, I believe. Yeah, Soltes, he's got a mean streak. He rolled up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Yeah, he reminds me of a young Brendan Gallagher. You know, he can get to the net and score those goals, but you don't want to mess with him. Yeah, he's just marking his territory. He says, this is my ice surface. It's a wrist shot from the points. So we have a power play for two minutes. In the slot, looking to battle on it. Spin move. And, oh, that puck almost hit Oster. As the puck goes into the neutral zone, and... We get a chance to look at the Saints power play, the first power play of this game so far. The Saints looking like they're going to set up some sort of umbrella strategy here. It's working in the slot. Look at those moves. Save me. Scores! I think that's Prairie Chicken with his second. Prairie Chicken does some dangles and slides one five-hole. And we have a power play goal. It's a 2-1 game. Well, I was talking to a few scouts before this one, and... They, they were talking about how dangerous this Saints power play was, and it did not take them very long to put that one away. If you look at the replay, look at Prairie Chicken. There's a little inside-out move, and he calculated that one for sure. I saw him on the bench in between periods, and he was looking at his Corsi rating, and he thought that he needed to increase it, and Jaden did just that there. It's a 2-1 game. As Prairie Chicken looking to lead the way. Two goals already in this game gold medal performance almost signs of a Jordan Everly like performance here as we have a three on oh shot safe where's the puck Oster knows where it is and it's right inside the bread basket and on a three on oh you don't see that too often but the Saints could not solve Oster yeah she stood her ground there stand-up style of goaltending which we don't see very often anymore in today's game but she knew what she was doing well, she stared that shooter right in the eyes. Stared it down. It was almost intimidating. I was kind of cowering up here in the broadcast booth as Oster was focused on that one. So it's a power play goal from the Saints, making it a 2-1 game for the team in blue. As we have a three-car pileup at the sideboards there. More players are on the ice surface there, looking like... They don't use Zambonis in this game here, but those players seem to be wiping the ice just fine. As Abdul will set this one behind the net. Look at that stick handling, head up the entire way. Puts his head down. You can see the wind blazing by Abdullah. Drop pass. Looking to set this one up. And it's a two on two, a wrist shot from the points. And that one fired a bit too wide. Looks like that player hit the Bowflex that morning and just had a bit too much muscle on the puck. The so puck's in the slot, sprawling out, open shot, scores! Quinn Russell with the Selly. That is deserving as he picked up the rebound and it is a 3-1 game. Yeah, that's just a great goal. Nothing Lily could do on that one as the puck was just thrown out in front of the net and... That's another goal for this Saints team who after that big Warriors goal have seemed to kind of light a fire under them as they have two quick goals here in the second period. Well, I don't know what was better, if the goal was better or the celebration. It looked like a Timu Solani kind of shot his stick. And that will be a 3-1 game. And sorry, no, that will be, that preceded the one with the goal. I got the... Names mixed up here. So that proceeded the one scoring for the Saints. I messed that one up. This will be my last cast on Shaw TV before I get let go. As in the slot, 
Oster covers that one up. And again, that sprawling eagle we see from the goaltenders here. It's a great move. Erin watching that Hasek film before the game. And she was saying that she could be even better. And right now, she, both of them are looking very Hasek-esque. And their entry-level contracts are waiting in the dressing room for them after this one. As our PA announcer has a... Mike Yashiu, we seem to be good to go. And we are ready with the blue helmet now coming in left side boards. Buck is played in the neutral zone. And back behind now will be Eric. Eric has it on the stick. Nice move. Look at that composure in his own end. Deeks around three different players. Make that four players now. It's a three on one. Eric has it. And oh, an offside call. And Eric does not like that one. He's got his <laughs> hands up there and he wants somebody benched. Yeah, he came all the way from his own end, going end to end on this international surface and just offside at the blue line. He blows a tire. That ledge, I'm telling you, is just, that's vicious. That's not fair for these kids. Yeah, that's mid-shin mid level for these kids. <laughs> Absolutely. You don't expect it as they fall into the benches. A big move comes in. Look at these dicks. Blows through one. A backhand shot. Save made, Oster. Prairie Chicken going for the hat trick there. Poked in front in the spread eagle move again. And a little bit of rough stuff in front of the net. But to no avail, Oster coming up huge yet again. And look at the other end. Rose practicing his butterfly. <laughs> he hasn't seen some pucks in a couple minutes there, so he's just practicing. That's commitment to the game right there. You always want to see that from the young kids. Absolutely. At the points now. A wrist shot in the slot. Save mid. Rebo comes in. Scores! There's the hat trick. Prairie Chicken. On the rebound. And we do see a hat on the ice. Look at this on the doorstep. That's a goal scorer's goal right there. And look at that celebration in a gold medal game, a hat trick. One of the best performances on international ice surface that we have ever seen. Yeah, this reminds me of the Everly performance in a few of those World Junior games. And he is just taking this game over and an early candidate for MVP. Well, here's Wu in the corner with the green tape. Plays this one forward, big moves. The Warriors are not gonna go down easily. Going end to end here, left side boards. This is Russell in the slot. Looking for an opportunity as that puck gets launched off a stick. Look at that stick tape coming in from Joseph Wilson. It's like zebra tape, but with three different colors. Looks like a candy cane out there. As the puck is launched all the way inside the Warriors zone. Fakes out his target, but the puck goes and to the goalie of Oster. I like that fake move where you fake the pass. Unfortunately on that one, just turn the puck over. As the puck is in the corner. Battling alongside the boards and at the point. Left side boards now. The only other goal scorer in this one is Dapper Sida for the Saints. Has possession of the puck, loses it though. And here come the Warriors with speed, left side boards. We've seen this before, Russell with the backhand, forehand shot, oh, blocked shot. He doesn't care about the bruises back there whatsoever as Anthony gets that blocked shot to go through. This puck is stolen up and here's some speed on the partial break, backhand shot, just missing the net. I don't know if that net is regulation size or not. Corn that was Cornelius there, and he could already get more height on his backhand than I ever could. What a shot, just went wide. In the neutral zone now, the candy cane stick. He's been out on the ice for a solid four or five minutes now. Definitely had his pregame ritual before the game. Ate his pasta last night. As the puck is inside the blue line. Contrada 
with some patience, plays it to the point of wrist shot. What a stick coming in from Johnstone. Johnstone battles, couple of players hitting each other with sticks there. These two teams do not like each other whatsoever. That's a classic rivalry here. I would not be surprised if we see a line brawl. So that puck gets launched into the sideboards. A 4-1 Saints lead. It was a 1-0 first period, but the timekeeper added on three minutes. It's been the game changer. At the point, Abdullah loses possession. And here comes the Wolves. Four forwards coming in here for the Wolves. And oh, nice defensive play coming in from Eric. As he takes out his target. That's what you call a double D on. So the puck goes to the point. Chipped away and oh! A banana peel again. has got a couple people and we're gonna have a tripping penalty coming in here. Going to the box is the candy cane stick. That was about an eight minute shift for him and just a little bit too tired to get back there. Absolutely, his coach giving him plenty of ice time and he says, hey coach, I need a break. As we take a look as a bulldozer in that corner, big hits comes in. As I say, there is some sort of disdain coming in. So that penalty will be going to Joseph Wilson, who's been on the ice for a while. He's going to have a break. But he's not going to sit down in that penalty box. The puck is in the slot, spins around and played to the right side boards. Van Horen chips it forward. That blue line has a massive casualty count. As it's a two on one, shorthanded, comes in, shot, save made, rebound comes in. The net's off its moorings, crashing into it. Oh my goodness. That net came off its moorings. Rose is a bit shaken up, but he's a tough goaltender. He's used to having players run into him. So we take a look at the fans and plenty of them. Look at this two on one, shorthanded, save made. A good defensive play there coming in from whoever that was. Instead of trying to block the shot, you take out the net. Golden strategy. Absolutely. Yeah, if that didn't happen, Van Huren did a great job of kicking the puck to his stick. But the net had just come off before he could get a shot off. So the puck is now in the corner. It's power play time of 1 minute and 20 seconds left here. And here is the hat trick hero right now in Prairie Chicken who has it, a wrist shot, a high saucer. That looked like it was a fielder in the outfield as Austin tried to play that puck. In transition. Four on five hockey. And here comes shorthanded as a, oh, wiping out there. It's Hockey Canada ice. And in transition are the Saints. Look at the speed, Prairie Chicken. Nice move, but Bayana gets a skate in the way of that. And it looks like we have an offside call. These referees are ruthless. Really checking out that it's a game of inches. And if you're over that line by an inch, the refs will call you. Yeah, and such a tight gold medal game here. The refs have to be on their A game, just like these players do. They don't want to be the reason that something goes wrong. I like the aggressiveness on the shorthanded opportunity. Left side boards. Nice little play off the ice there. And the puck will skitter to the blue line as we have three Saints players down. I think an asteroid hit the ice surface there and check out a couple Saints players. As we have Wu, left side boards. Chips this one down low. Looking for the dump and chase on the power play. Good strategy here. First one back though is a Warriors player. In the corner, off the backboards. Buck is knocked off by Lamb. Lamb will spin that with his teal blue stick tape at the points. Backhand play. The penalty has now expired. We've got five on five hockey. And immediately cherry picking. I like it as he is way <laughs> just a bit offside here. They're going to have to get back. Oh my goodness. But still a delayed offside. But we don't care about the rules here as Quinn Russell had one thing in mind and that was getting that puck. And I like the play coming in from Joseph Wilson who coming in and out of the penalty box, the little bit of a cherry pick there, it's called strategy. And what you can't see in this replay is that if you look 100 feet in front of that player, Joseph Wilson was ready to go. 
Yeah, he was almost at the face-off dot in the offensive zone before that crossed the blue line, but he was looking for that breakout pass, didn't get it. He had goal in his eyes, and he just had no regard for anything else on the ice. As we've got the red gloves in Johnstone, chipping that one down low. Puck is in the corner. Look out as Lucas Hugh takes out his target. And the slot pass in front, looking for Johnstone. Johnstone looks the battle. He's got it on his backhand. Good defensive clap, claps coming in here from Riley Brown. At the point. Here's the puck off the side boards, and it goes all the way down the ice. It loses everybody, and you're going to have to hustle to get back. 4.15 left to go here. This is a gold medal game. Eric's winding it up here. At the point. Puck is off the backhand. So Lucas Hugh keeps that puck in as we have yet another offside call here. In this SO Minor Hockey Week, we had games all week long. It has been a tradition here as we've had games on Shaw now for I don't know however many years. But it's been quite a bit. Always supporting the SO Minor Hockey and it's nice to see the fans come out for this one. Yeah, that's a great crowd. All of them so energetic here, and they're both teams on really. They're not they're not choosing a team. All the parents are really just cheering on great hockey. What a save with the toe! As Rose somehow gets his right pad on that puck, and he gets a tap on the pads as Rose is gonna be the hero here. Look at this. A pass from the left side and Rose kicks out that right pad there's the classic spread eagle that you see in this new age of hockey here it's a technique that it looks simple to do however these kids have practiced it for hours and hours before the game i believe rose was actually up the game started at 8 30 i believe rose was up at 2 a.m practicing that same technique so the buck is navigated into that corner boards Stolen up. But nice defensive recovery coming in from Bayana. He's got the puck. Bayana with some speed. Looks to do things himself, but loses possession. Good recovery from the Warriors. The puck will be curled all the way down the ice. And that will be an icing call with 3.04 left to go. I don't know what this Warriors team has to do to get the puck past Rose's. He is playing one of the best games of hockey I've ever seen, any level. Absolutely, the Warriors have run into a hot goaltender right now, and you have to attribute it to Rose playing goaltender even when the puck's nowhere near him. The puck's on the other side of the ice. Rose is there practicing his butterfly. As it's in the slot, look out, a one-timer! And what a shot block coming in. Well, that one's going to have a bruise. And it's worth it. It's a 2 on 0. Oh. Here comes the Saints. Pass it forward. And a gust of wind. Someone opened up an air vent. And that puck went. You got to give it to the Saints. They've had a 4 or 5 2 on 0s. Oh, 2 or 3 3 on 0s. Oh. Just getting by the Warriors defense. Yeah, they're flying the zone there. When they're in their defensive zone, their forwards are already past the blue line before their defenders have even picked it up. As that puck corrals into the neutral zone and taking a look up over top of the fans, you have banners from so many different Canadian national hockey teams. You've got your national teams, you've got your junior national teams, you've got sledge hockey as well. And now you've got Novice, and you've got a breakaway. All alone, backhand, forehand, scores! What a goal! I'm trying to figure out who it was. This was number 16 for the Saints. That Presida looks like his second goal of the game. Look at this, goes backhand, goes on the forehand, and no chance at all for Lily Oster. As that Presida now has his second goal of the game. That was nasty. 
Looked like he was playing NHL 17 out there, doing his deep moves. As it's a 5-1 game. 1.43 left to go here in this second period. The Saints have taken a commanding lead. It's Johnson with the holy Shea Weber clapper. Up the points. Puck is blocked and in transition are the Warriors. Pushing that puck forward, but a good defensive play coming in from the Saints to knock it forward. Puck is chipped right side. Here's Cornelius with some speed. Good back check though coming in from Quinn Russell. Who seems to be everywhere on the ice for this Warriors squad. Yeah, great two-way player. Reminds me of a young Patrice Bergeron. As we are inside, one minute left to go in this period. At the point. I like the strategy there. And he's waiting. Good situational awareness coming in from Nasser, but in transition now. On the backhand. Here comes Russell. Backhand, forehand shot, save made. Rebound, scramble, stop again. And I think it was the Warriors teammate who might have got his stick in the way. Either way, the puck stayed out of the net. We're gonna have to get a replay on this one. As you see Quinn Russell, end to end, the save made, a shot in the slot. And I believe right after Quinn Russell, says that was my goal nobody's scoring on this team but me i like the strategy on that one we gotta add to the stats as the buck is in behind the net 24 seconds left to go in this one and in transition now are the saints with speed left side boards Oh, good defensive play as there's time for one more rush. Ten seconds left on this one. You've got eight left. But he's going end-to-end, -end, a wrist shot. And that one took a detour into the corner. And it's a four-goal outburst from the Saints squad. And a 5-1 Saints lead with one period left to go here. And Riley, I'm not exactly sure how much time will be played in the third period. But you got to think that the Warriors aren't going to go down easy whatsoever. No, not at all. It looked like this was going to be a pretty tight game through two periods after the Warriors scored early there in that second. But the Saints all of a sudden just with a four-goal outburst, and they have taken this game over. But I think this Warriors team has a comeback in them. This timekeeper is absolutely ruthless. 30-second break in between periods. Oh, my goodness. 30 seconds is all these kids get before the third period will start. As the Saints have their cheer, they have one more period left to go here as we at Shaw patiently await how much time will be in this third period. 15 minutes, says the timekeeper. A 12 minute first, 15 minutes second, 15 seems to be the third period. If you take a look at the sides of each jerseys, the crests, you've got the Hal Calgary Hitmen and the Calgary Flames crests on the corner. Obviously, the Hitmen and Calgary, the or the Hitmen and Flames, sorry, the two premier teams here in Calgary. Warriors and Saints making a case that they should be up there as well. Yeah, I was just gonna say close third and fourth are these two teams as we've been treated to an absolute gem of a hockey game. So here come the Warriors. I wonder what the pep talk was during that 30 second intermission. <laughs> Doesn't even give us a time for a break as a wrist shot goes from the sideboards. Left kick save coming in from Rose. Back behind the net. Nice pushing and shoving back behind the net. Like we said, these two teams have a disdain for one another. In the corner boards now. Launched over to the side. Petrata keeps that puck in. He's playing on his off defensive wing. As the puck is in the slot, looking to go on the forehand, save made yet again. And a great defensive play coming in from Nasser, who instead of trying to take the body, goes over top of the body. It's revolutionary, these kids. 
They're really implementing Hockey Canada strategy here. As we see the next generation of players come in. It's a one-on-two play. Left side boards with speed. Van Vuren banks it off behind the net. And with speed now are the Warriors, but too much speed. Couldn't keep it up as we have a two-on-one inside. Nobody wanted the puck, though. Puck is like lava out there to these kids sometimes. So are the blue lines. Absolutely. As we have speed coming in, pushing over inside the blue line territory, backhander at the point, but kept in here by De Groot. And in transition are the Saints. With speed, crossing the Hockey Canada logo, right side boards. With speed, a wrist shot save made. Nice butterfly coming in from Oster, keeping that puck out. As we're going to have a shot of the crowd here, their reaction on that play. Look at them. Just so intently looking into that game. Warriors on the backhand, forehand, dances around a couple players, kicks it on the stick. Well, the puck is stripped up here, and it's a breakaway. Here they come. Abdullah, the wrist shot, scores! Abdullah snipes one. Left side of the net. No chance. And gets goal number six for the Saints. It's a 6-1 lead. Look at just, this replay. He's played so great from his defensive position all night or all morning long, and he just throws that low glove. What a what a rush. Well, Abdullah, you could tell that he took air pressure into account on that snipe. Because that one was perfectly placed. Yeah, rotation of the earth factors in there too when Absolutely. he shoots it that fast. I think Mars had a weird rotation going on and Abdullah was completely aware of it. So the puck at the point, played over in the slot. Warriors looking to rebound after the goal in the slot. They're getting a skate in the way of that one is Cornelius. Cornelius looks like he wants the puck. He's got some space, but the puck is stolen and backhanded right back in the Saints end. I feel bad for our cameramen because there's end-to-end -end action here. They have no time for a break whatsoever. This puck gets lifted into the neutral zone, trying to get a potential 2 on 0. Good defensive play, though, coming in from the Warriors. That's Lucas Yu keeping that puck out. Right corner boards. Looking to play this one in the slot. Get some uh, sauce on that one. Absolutely. A wrist shot from the point. It's a stick in the way. Turning around now. Cornelius with the wrist shot. That's his best impression of Superman. As he flies on his stomach on the ice. In the slot though. Backhanders. Oh, that one actually lifted off the ice. That was Prairie Chicken again. Looking for his fourth. Yeah, Prairie Chicken says three goals is not enough. He's looking for that backhand shot to go. 11-16 left to go in this period. I'm going to need some Gatorade after this one as the refs refuse to let us have a break whatsoever. On the backhand. In the slot. Poking away in the slot. It's loose still. Shot saved. Mate, how did Austin just see that one? Prairie Chicken just everywhere. What an offensive force he's... The next Patrick Line or Alex Ovechkin here on this Saints team. As a wrist shot from the point, tipped on goal, save made by Rose. That one took a detour as it hit Rose's pad. And here comes the Saints. Stops up. Abdullah. Sorry, Abdallah. Lost possession of the puck. And it's stolen up here behind the net. And Kareem's off the sideboards. Backhanded in, kept in as we have a three-car pile-up in the corner. Eric has possession. He's a Canadian, though, and opts to give it to the other team. What a nice guy Eric is. Dalla will chip this one left side boards. And all the way down the ice it goes. Nice move. Here's a potential opportunity. Backhander stops up, looking to go in the slot. Just looks to saucer. That was Sutherland, who had the time there. In the slot, kick, save, rebound comes out. Oster got that right pad in there. And with speed, the Warriors looking to navigate. 
But a good defensive play coming in from Eric. Stops that one up. Perry Chicken, he's got three. Will there be a fourth? <laughs> Slightly offside, just barely. Was a Saints player. That was Wu. Wu forgot that it was international rules on this one. The Saints will stop this one up in the neutral zone. Puck is chipped right back in. Back behind the net, ricocheted off the right side boards. Nice little turnaround spin move coming in from Contrada. Eric chips this one forward. Three on two, four on two. But the Warriors will prevail. And in transition is Joseph Wilson. who will be taking a nap after this game because he has had plenty of ice time. Backhanded right outside. And a couple bodies collide there. The it's neutral good. zone hit. It's a good clean hockey hit there. That's what you want to see in this game. That shoulder down. Got him right on the chin. This player is forced to use face max here. Talking with the players before the game, though, they did not like that rule. As we have it going in, oh, a potential break. I think Dave Presido wanted that hat trick as well, but the referees absolutely ruthless out there. As we take a look at one of the players of the game, Lily Oster, has stood on her head this one, rocking those high tech pads. Yeah, I'd say Warriors player of the game for sure. Absolutely. Had to have faced almost 100 shots by now, only let in six goals. The referee's having to stall this one as the two centermen chirping each other at the faceoff dot. Not exactly sure what they're arguing about, but potentially debating what the best starter Pokemon is. Looks like the guys who voted Squirtle will be the ones who win it. It's two on one. Nice little move in the slot shot. Looking top cheddar. Looking at the upper Benjamins there. But the wind got a hold of that puck, I think, as Oster will cover that one up. And you could see here, I believe the replay guys are going to show us here, that on this break here, Cornelius had it. But right here, someone opened up an air vent. And that puck took a complete change of direction. Whoever is working the facilities here will be fired. Cornelius is not happy about that one. A lot of people getting the snips after this game. Absolutely. Look at Warham in front of the net here. Warham is playing this one nicely. It looks like a Sean Avery in front of that goaltender. Nice little slap pass there from the Warriors defender. Uh-oh. Warriors have an opportunity here. On the backhand. Looking to saucer it behind the net. Good play by Rose. Looking to play that puck, but opts to leave it for his defender. The puck is chipped forward. Stolen up and swatted to the right side boards, kept inside. The Saints hemmed in their own zone here, but finally getting it out. The Saints opting not to do a on the fine line change. Coaches say, hey, no more than six minute shifts out there. Anything more than that's just ridiculous. Absolutely. You can see the players too on the benches with those ox oxygen masks as well. They're going to need it as we do have a line change coming in from both squads. As Lily Oster getting a lot of camera time. Fire ants. Look at that goal tape. It says fire ants. I'm not exactly sure the story behind the fire ants. However, I believe that she is ha she has that on her tape because it is her favorite type of insect. It's a nice insect until it bites you. Yeah, she had a choice between, you know, the beetle and the caterpillar, but the fire ant. As it's in the slot, look how big save by Rose. Again with that sprawling eagle play. Makes a huge save here and gets a tap on the pads. This team's loving it. I can't believe what I'm seeing from Rose in tonight, or this morning's action. As he is blowing my mind. Rose after this game. 
obviously a star player for the Saints squad. We actually saw him ride in in a limo. And all the other kids were hauling in their own bags, but Rose says, not me. We're going to get our chauffeur to do it because I'm the best. I'm well, not sure if that's what he said, but... When you're the highest paid goalie in minor hockey, you know, you can, you can afford to have a chauffeur in a limo. Absolutely. And obviously, these kids are playing from the love of the game, so they don't get paid actual money. But when you're a star player, you get perks. You know, you get, instead of getting regular-sized meals at McDonald's, you get super size. You don't get a happy meal. You know, you get your double quarter pounders. Because the Saints have possession right now. Prairie Chicken's another one that gets to have a super sized drink. I'm not exactly sure if McDonald's is a sponsor of this event, so we might be getting sued after this game. Good thing is it's not coming out of my pocket. A slap cheddar from the point. Good thing he didn't connect there because that one was going to shatter the glass. And with speed, right side. Sheeman. Oh, good defensive play there. I like the strategy from the Saints. We're going to see a replay of it there. Sheeman had a opportunity, but the Saints behind the play actually set up a trip wire in their own zone. There's no rules against it. With speed, trying to fight off a check there, and Abdallah just carried that puck in over the zone. As Prairie Chicken again goes in a bit offside. If you take a look here, look, you can see a tripwire right here. Takes out all three players. That is definitely a hazard. Yeah, a little bit of friendly fire, but it got the job done. Absolutely. Yeah, the coaches, they don't care who that tripwire takes out. As long as it takes out somebody. There's a wrist shot going high glove. Rose positionally sound covers that one up. And he, the player is absolutely loving it. Getting the pats on the head. And look at that composure of Rose. Does not lose his composure whatsoever. Looks like a carry price out there. Let's take a look at this. You can see the moment of impact right here. A wrist shot and Rose. I know that was a split second decision. But you could tell that he was calculating his angles there. He did the whole Pythagorean theorem with his whole angles there. It's amazing, these student athletes, how much they take in in school and can still commit so much to the game. I still don't know what the Pythagorean theory is. Absolutely. Something about an A squared and B squared, you could tell that's what Rose was trying to do there. And it worked out for him in his favor. Huck is transferred in the neutral zone. I like that. A tackle from the back. It looked like a football move. And... We talk about multi-sport athletes nowadays. Clearly, that kid had some football in him. With 4.20 left to go here in the period. Oh, a holding call. I don't agree with this one. Contrada going to the penalty box for two minutes. I thought that was a good, clean play. Absolutely. These are Canadians out here. We might have a replay here, but if we do take a look at it, I think it was like a bear hug instead of a hole. I don't know about that. Yeah, just a nice, friendly takedown. Absolutely. So it'll be another power play for the Saints. A wrist shot from the point. The puck gets launched off a stick. And that blue line yet again takes out a Warriors player. It's an aggressive penalty kill here from this Warriors team, needing five goals in just under four minutes now. You what might be able play. to see in the sideboards there as they do have Deke the dog. Out supporting the teams. As, oh my goodness. Someone put a landmine in front of the net. It's Johnstone. This one, and that one eludes everybody. That one missed because we are in the Western Hemisphere. If we were in the Eastern Hemisphere, that puck would have went in. The puck spins the other way in the Eastern Hemisphere. Absolutely. Murray will backhand that one. That puck takes some flight. Goes behind the net. And Cornelius, he's been robbed on a couple of occasions. Takes a slash there. I don't think Cornelius actually uses shin pads. That's actually pure calf muscle. So Puck is in the slot. Rose relays that one to the neutral zone. With speed, a yellow stick take now in Abdallah. Has it, spins around, does a nice little 360. Gustafson takes him out. Back behind the net. It's a couple of number twos battling alongside the boards. It's going to be the Saints who recover. 
This puck gets swatted into the neutral zone. 2.40 left to go. 21 seconds on the power play. Puck is behind the net. Good spin move coming in off the corner boards. Heads up play. Puck is kept in though by Prairie Chicken. With speed. Puck is swatted out. Prairie Chicken has some moves. Nice little dangle. Not sure if that was a dangle or a dipsy doodle, but either way. That was fun to watch. At the point. Backhander now. Trips up his own teammate. Looks to center one in the slot. Now, not sure who the equipment manager is of the Saints. But his job is on the line here as a couple of players blew tires. Nice move coming in with an opportunity. Left side boards. Good defensive play coming in from Sean J.R. Eric. Doing his best Drew Dowdy impersonation. Behind the net. You see goalies nowadays hug the post. But Rose does a nice 360 to follow the puck. It's a high saucer. Pass forward, backhands in between the legs. And that puck gets launched in there. Uh, Reed Sutherland. Great name for a hockey player. Sounds like a Chuck Wagon guy. And oh! Got slashed in the hand there. Trying to shake that one off is Sutherland. He's holding his hand there. He's a tough kid. Yeah, only went down for just a quick second there. And was able to skate off on it under his own power. One minute and two seconds left in this gold medal game here at the Winsport Mark and McPhail Arena. At the point. Nice backhand pass. Looked like Patrick Kane there. Another backhand. Whoa, spin move by Prairie Chicken. Whoa, I'm getting dizzy here. Wrist shot on goal. Save made. Scrabble in front. Puck is there in the net. Woo. Look at this Selly. Looks a little bit like Nail Yakupov going end to end. And with 41 seconds left, the Saints have converted on their touchdown. It's a 7-1 lead. Just beautiful moves there from Prairie Chicken to get that puck out front. And I think he has solidified his spot as today's MVP. But how can you argue with Rose? I think we might need co-MVPs on this Saints team. Look at this one here. Austria had no chances. The puck took flight. And it creamed into the net. The coaches are pleading goaltender interference. We want video review on this one. 35 seconds left to go here in this gold medal game. As we have seen three periods of action in a matter of one hour. Rest refusing to give us a break. I'm going to have to go to my union after this one. So the puck gets launched in the sideboards. The Saints. 15 seconds away from becoming ESSO Minor Hockey League gold medal champions. At the point, a wrister goes off a couple sticks. Two seconds left. Scramble comes in, and that will do it. The Calgary Saints Novice One team are gold medal champions. And look at the other end, too. You got to love it. The Warriors celebrating as well. Great hockey from both ends of the ice. What an entertaining game that was. A 7-1 victory from the Saints. They are your gold medal winners. Yeah, Lily Oster just getting swarmed there by her teammates as she put on a performance for the ages in the loss. What a game for both these goalies. What a day for hockey, as we have seen an instant classic. <laughs> I love Abdali here. Instead of celebrating with the team, looking to clean up the gloves and sticks that have been on the ice, his mother would be proud. Well, if he came home with the wrong gloves, he might get grounded. So just making sure he's covering all his bases before he celebrates too hard. I know my mom would do that to me. Jordan, you won a gold medal, but you did not bring home the correct glove. As the cheer comes in, and with some wheels trying to get to that lineup here, when what was a great game. And a little bit of awkward handshakes here. But it's the Saints winning the gold medal. The Warriors putting up a valiant effort as they brought the crowd to their feet here. A 7-1 game. 
This it, Saints team reminds me of that 05 Canada World Junior team during the lockout. Just, you know, this Warriors team kept her close there in the second, but the likes of Crosby oh. <laughs> and friends just <laughs> pulled away. And I really like this in the corner. We just missed it, but Anthony actually, I really appreciate his move. He was testing the safety of the boards there, and he went full speed into it. He was so excited that I think he got blinded and crashed into the boards as these players will line up at the blue line here. Everyone taking a knee to celebrate here this great... Oh, nice, and you see some dabbing coming in from Eric. I'm glad that it's made its way into 2017. I wasn't ready for the dab to die yet, so I'm glad these kids have continued the tradition. Yeah, absolutely, as we had our Deke the Dog coming out here, looking to hand out some medals here as we have concluded in what has been a heck of a week. SO Minor Hockey coming in as we see Fire Ants herself. I need to get the story of that one. I'm not exactly sure what the fire ants thing means, but the silver medal comes in. Deke the dog helping out giving some awards here as the Northwest Warriors Red 2 Novice Squad giving a heck of an effort here. And on the right side, see Calgary Saints Novice won. And I like this here. Nice classy move from the coaches. They made their team shave before the game because it's just a classy move for sure. So you take a look at these players, it looks like they have no facial hair whatsoever, but guys like Prairie Chicken, obviously rocking the mustache and beard before the game. Yeah, it's really a page out of Lou Lamorello's book there. Yeah, that absolutely. You gotta be clean shaven. They let the hair go a little bit, so they're, they're not fully Lou Lamorello, but. Yeah, they're not completely ruthless here. As you can see, Abdallah has rock in the goggles hill too in the SO Minor Hockey League gold medal game. And the Warriors getting their celebration. Silver medalists. This game, 2,412 votes. They wanted, the fans wanted this game to be brought on Shaw TV. And they did just that as Deke the Dog's gonna give some handouts here. Yeah, a couple hundred fans here, you know, it's just a great atmosphere for this SO Minor Hockey League gold medal game. Look at Abdallah there with that those goggles too. I really like it because if the ice melted, Abdallah is prepared. If it turned into some sort of wall, water polo event, the only one ready for that one would be Abdallah. And Abdallah just dabbed on Deke the dog there as he tried to give him a pound it. Instead of the too slow he went with the dab absolutely new generation of hockey players here taking a page out of cam newton's book as deke the dog will be handing out you can see the beads of sweat on all of these players as they are loving it right now taking a look at some of the highlights look at this behind the back move and then prairie chicken does a little deke dipsy doodle play in front and it gets saucered right over top into the net. That was goal number seven. Yeah, Oster did a great job to make the original save off the tip from Wu, but Wu was able to flip it over top of her. And there is the banner. Minor Hockey League champions. As in front there, hadn't talked about him near enough, but Maddox Rose having himself a hawk heck of a game. Novice two champions here. As we take a look at the fans, we're getting plenty of camera time here. Absolutely, they are loving it. Deke the dog. What can you say about his performance here? Mediocre. You know, what wasn't yeah. mediocre though was the Saints play here today as they've got the gold medals to show for it. The only thing I am disappointed with that picture there was the lack of bunny ears. Yeah, bunny ears, always a must in pictures like that. We'll uh, have to talk to the kids and the coaches after that one. Well, these kids are still young yet. They have plenty of time to learn about the bunny ears as we have our on-ice camera getting ready to go here. 
I think the most nervous player or person here on the ice right now is actually our cameraman because if he drops that camera, he will be paying for it. Absolutely. So we take a look at the Warriors, Novice 2 squad here, winning that silver medal. They deserved it, absolutely. A 7-1 game. And the uh, team is looking like they're trying to eat the medals. I like the, the strategy there, trying to take a bite out of those medals because obviously they're not paying for their dentist bills. Well, those teeth fall out anyway. Absolutely. So we take a look here at the Warriors squad, looking to line up here for a picture. In front there is goaltender Lily Oster. We're taking a look at some of the saves from Oster here. A big save at the point. So you have a look at the replay point at the shot there. A little spin move coming in from the Saints in the slot. And look at this. A shot right into the back of the net. And the team of Salami guns ablaze in there. Johnstone had a perfect chance here. Spinning around in the slot. Scramble. And in the slot. And that was a heck of a play here. And we are actually, had enough of us talking. Let's hear from the players themselves. We're going to throw this one over to Sherrod Bouchard, who's got someone to talk about the game. Oh, we are going to be in there. Oh, no. <laughs> Good job, guys. Good. Thank you. And uh, we have... Joe McFarland here, who is an in-game host for the for hockey games for the minor league and such. And uh, I just wanted to ask you a quick question here: um, What type of experience is it, or how exciting is it to be an in-game host for events like this and such and other sports? Yeah, you know what? It's uh, <laughs> we got in the way somehow. Come yeah, on, unfortunately. <laughs> Sorry, we, we, we picked the wrong side. Uh, you know what? It's fantastic. I mean, the the cool part about it to me is being able to give an, kind of that pro experience for the the kids and for the fans i mean the kids the players all love it when they have that experience when they have it loud and and that's what i like to do is, is provide that loud experience for everybody i, I don't know yeah definitely i hear you there um and uh, another quick question do you believe some of the players are inspired in some kind of way by real nhl players absolutely i mean and and it's it, even when when hosting with the hitmen that kind of thing is you have uh, tim bits hockey during the intermissions that kind of thing right it, it that's it gives them that big league experience like i said and being able to go to uh go to the dome or go to to see the hitmen or the flames or even the ajhl teams that we have here in town being able to have that someone to look up to one but two is to to enjoy that that atmosphere and and for to have something like this where they have the announcing where they have the music all that kind of thing i think just adds and gives them that memory you want to make memories for kids definitely then mm -hmm. i totally agree 100 percent well thank you joe for your time anytime my friend anytime yeah. All right, and that is all. Sherrard Jordan Boucher for Shaw TV. Well, thanks, Sherrard, as we have concluded this game. A 7-1 Saints win to finish up the gold medal match on what has been an excellent week, SO Minor Hockey Week here in Calgary. And we saw tons and tons of teams battle it out. The fans voted they wanted this novice game, and Riley... It lived up to the hype tonight or today. Uh, absolutely. It was a great game and I don't remember being that good at hockey in novice. I was significantly less good and these two teams put on a show. Great players on both teams. Yeah, I was definitely the kid in the corner that was checking myself out in the glass. These kids though, they knew what exactly was going on as we take a look at some more of the replays. Look at that. A massive hit at center ice. That one might be reviewed by the Department of Player Safety. We'll have to look into that one for sure as Rose made an excellent save. And in the other end, Oster, the goaltender, coming up with a big butterfly save on that one as well. Both goaltenders on fire this game. As we continue on here with more replays look end to end there was the tripwire play there as the good coaching move there to set that little piece of string to trip up the players yeah that's a veteran coaching move there absolutely you don't learn that in your rookie season uh dipper Sado, the shot a save and on the rebound too great save again from oster some more opportunities a little saucer in the slot there but rose he's gonna patent that 
Actually, after this game, it's still early yet. The lawyer's offices might be open. He's going to try to trademark that move. Yeah, he he was unstoppable today. And, uh, you know, it's difficult to run into a hot goalie sometimes, but that's the way of the game. And maybe the best goaltending performance of all time. Absolutely. You know, you have to put, you know, maybe Hasek's performance in the Nagano Olympics up there. You might put in, you know, Carey Price in the Olympics as well. And then right up there, you got Rose, who's just been phenomenal that entire game. And look at this one. As again, we take a look at that shot from, I believe that was Depressina that scored that one. And you know what? He had a on fire game, too. He almost had the hat trick as well. Speaking of hat tricks, Prairie Chicken. Nailed on his hat trick in that game. Yeah, four points for Prairie Chicken, three goals and an assist, and you just you just dream of games like this in a gold medal game. Well, look at that backhand. And the thing, is, all jokes aside, Prairie Chicken actually saucered that backhand, which at novice is absolutely ridiculous here. No, I wasn't joking when I said I couldn't raise the puck on my backhand at that age. Absolutely. As we conclude this one here on Essa, what a great week. We have to thank, big thank you, absolutely, to the volunteers on this one. They came out. None of this stuff would have been happening this entire week, not just this game here, but the entire Essa Minor Hockey Week. It all comes down to the volunteers. We talked about it before the game. You know, 6 a.m., wake-up calls for the parents, bringing out their kids. That is absolutely massive. Big thank you from that. Final words from me here, Riley. Well, I'm just glad to be a part of this great event for minor hockey. Both these teams put on such a good show, and I can't wait for next year. Well, that's all from the SO Minor Hockey League gold medal game on Shaw TV. For Riley Pollock, I'm Jordan Magnuson. Thanks for watching. This is Isaac. He spends a lot of time in bed. He's always wanted a gaming system. His doctor told his mom and dad to reach out to Children's Wish. So they did. And then, one day, Children's Wish made his wish come true. Now, he's more connected online with friends and family. Wycom Solutions, a proud supporter of the Chasing Limits series and Alberta Amateur Sports. Visit wycom.ca for details on their full list of communication products and services. Yeah.